Curse Jupiter X and Idiots. I'm Corbin. I am Rick. And you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter. I'm all juicy It's so Thank juicy. Thank you for listening. Patreon and follow official Twitter account. No intro today, guys. You don't need it. No. Uh, but because uh, today is um, 1126, uh, and so we are doing a few videos. Uh, we know that date, obviously, from the horrific incidents that happened that day. Uh, I want to say off the bat, uh, people have, like, when we do stuff on certain people's birthday, they say we're taking advantage of certain people's days. I'm sent this stuff by a group of people that ask us to react to it exactly. on certain That's days. all we ever do on this channel. Is so I want to specify ask, that just because, one. obviously, this is such a horrific event, but we don't know much about it. And, and taking advantage, I don't know what that means necessarily, nor do I care. Yeah, but yeah. I just I want to clarify that for you people that will say that and I will block you. But... Uh, today is the anniversary of that horrific event. So we have two videos in this uh, video. One that's going to uh, explain uh, what exactly it is. Okay. And then I think another one explaining um, one of the heroes, I believe. I cool. I could be wrong. But cool. uh, let's just get into it. Because the only thing I know of it is uh, from the, the trailers we've read. The trailers right? and the movies, yeah. And some of the comments Stupid Baby yes. sent when we first were exposed to it. Mm -hmm. And they started to tell us about it. Uh, and need you to know, I, it's it's shameful. I would really love. I'm looking forward to the day more Americans converge and get into OSR because so much of what we're learning, I wish every American here knew. Absolutely. Uh, they need to know about this. There's more going on in the world than just what matters to the interests of the United States. So <laughs> shocker. Yeah. Uh, but read the title for me. Uh, it's called 2611 Martyr Sandeep Uni Krishnan's Legacy. Okay, I hope I pronounced that name right, especially since it's prefaced with martyr. Yes. So, so and then it says the Quint. Yes. Here we go. Is that, uh, the Quint's, I believe, the hotel. The maybe. hotel, yeah. What was 2611? And what was a Mumbai incident? Who was in the Uni Krishna? There are, there are people like that, no words. Because. <laughs> It's India, no? See, it's a democracy. So we have all the freedom to forget also. Sadiq only told us to watch first. So I was not knowing what is happening now. We were not um, tuned into TV. Some people came from Pakistan and then they started shooting and then doing that. No, I could not believe that. And that was the last conversation we had. And he was prepared to go. I had the intuition that he also, he cannot say that NSC campus there, he also would have joined, uh, so this thing, but uh, I never expected that, no, so this something like this will happen, so I thought it was a small operation and uh, it will be over in any time. We are not prepared for that, I mean, no, no parent will be prepared for that. See, maximum we will see that, okay, he may get injured. You are not ready for that, for, for a total loss. One of the person, uh, saved by him. You know, he said that how he operated. So the fearless, his face was totally fearless and then he even referred that, you know, see, uh, sir, have you seen Mahavishnu's face in the calendar? His face was with that calm. He was not panicked at all and then uh, he took time to check the very minute details as to what, what is your this thing, are you thirsty, are you hungry? They saved the last wow. hostage also. The last hostage still is with me and then he comes on 2611 with sit with us where Sandeep had fallen every year. The person who was saved by him was what hit by seven bullets. Even Sandeep also would not have expected him to survive, but he told him to told his team to evacuate him and then he went up. So that that also we have learned from the people those are behind him. And then uh, he knew that it is very dangerous to go up and then he told them that don't come up, I will handle them. His own unit people, they say that I would not have done like Sandeep sir what he has done. When a soldier himself is telling that he has done something great which I could not have done. Uh, that, is, that is the award beyond everything. A good memorial is actually should be in the mind of minds of people 
those who are more concerned about it. Many roots dedicated to the names of martyrs and leaders or something like that, but people will use the old name. And some people with, with, with that kind of an honor, they write the full name. I appreciate that. That is enough. That compensates what they say. Major Sandeep Unnikrishnan Road. Sometimes I feel that, you know, see, I have not done enough for him as a father. I always feel that I have not guided him properly. I could have taught him the nuances ah. of a little bit of selfishness also. to um, read something uh, here. I was supposed to read this before. Crap. Important note about 2611. On November 26th, India will have marked the 11th anniversary of the 2008 Mumbai attacks known as 2611. The Mumbai attacks were committed by 10 Lashkari Taiba members, an Islamic terrorist organization based in Pakistan. They carried out 12 coordinated shootings and bombings at various important Mumbai locations like the historic Chitrap forgive me for mispronouncing it, Chhatrapati Shivaji, Terminus, and Naraman House, a Jewish community and outreach center. These attacks went on for four days. One thing I want to add that I, myself, just learned is that on 9 April 2015, the foremost ringleader of the attacks, Zakir Rahman Lakhri, was released on bail in Rawalpindi, Pakistan, for about 2300 US dollars and disappeared. In 2008, this type of heavily armed, highly planned, and meticulously coordinated multi-day terrorist attack was absolutely unheard of, which is why, since 2611, India has stepped up the nation's security immensely. Assistant Police Sub-Inspector Tulkuram Ombal is the name of the police inspector who succeeded in capturing the sole surviving terrorist with his bare hands. Tukaram Ombal was unarmed and had no bulletproof vest. He stood in front of Ajmal Kassab, grabbed the barrel of Kassab's gun as Kassab started shooting and prevented the bullets from hitting anyone else. Takaram Umbel took over 23 bullets to his chest and abdomen from an AK-47 at point-blank range. He did not survive. Wow. Wow. Man, that's such a little hero right there. Man. Yep. Jeez. Uh, glad I remembered to read that. Okay. Me too. And um, so we got one more video. Right. And this is, I believe, about him. Him. Uh, okay. The, say his name for me. Uh, Takaram Umbel. Okay, cool. Uh, here we go. Mumbai, 26 November 2008. Ten terrorists who entered Mumbai attacked different places, shooting and killing people at random. Though caught unawares, the police swung into action. Roadblocks were put at various places. One such point was Girgaon Chupati. And Tukara Gopal Omble was assigned to this checkpoint, something that he informed his family about too. On the phone with his family constantly, Omle kept himself updated about the attacks around the city. Papa ko aadhe de ghante mein so papa phone karte the to hum TV pe news mein dekh kar papa ko batate the. Last time humne saare baara baje papa ko phone kiya tha. Papa ne humko phone kiya tha to papa bolle ki mom choti bhai inke saath baat hui. Choti bhai inko papa bolle ki subah college mein mat jana aur subah mein chalte ho jaunga. Mummy ke saath baat hui aur mere saath bhi to maine last time papa ko kaha tha ki aap aage mat jana. तो पापा बोले थे कि नहीं बेटा यहाँ कुछ भी नहीं है सुबह मैं हमेशा की तरह जल्दी आ जाऊँगा और बाद में कहा कि अभी फ़ोन नहीं करना तो मैंने फ़ोन रखा और थोड़ी देर के बाद पापा के साथ मतलब मैंने फ़ोन रखा और मुझे मालूम पड़ा कि टेरिस की गाड़ी वहाँ पर आ गई एंड इट वॉज सून आफ्टर दैट कॉल दैट सिल्वर स्कॉलर रीच हिस्स चेक पोस्ट ऑन रीचिंग मुंबई द टेरिस है Two terrorists, Ajmal Kasa and Abu Ismail, had opened fire at the CST railway station. After killing over 50 people, they then killed police officers Hemant Karkare, Ashok Kamte, and Vijay Salaskar and took charge of their police chief. <laughs> Compelled to abandon the police coalice, the two terrorists then hijacked a Skoda car. 
and soon they were heading towards Omle's check post. <coughs> as soon as the terrorist accused reached the checkpoint, the police party ordered them to shut off the headlights. On realizing that there was no way out, the two terrorists opened fire. In the exchange of fire, co-driver Abu Ismail was shot dead. At this point, Omle, who had made his way towards the driver's side, caught hold of Kasab's AK-47. In retaliation, Kasab opened fire. Omle took all the bullets. And even though he collapsed, he did not let go of Kasab's gun. This allowed his team members to reach and overpower Kasab and catch him alive. Unfortunately, ASI Tukaram Omle succumbed to his bullet wounds. सुबह मालूम पड़ा कि पापा को एडमिट किया है जो बड़ी बहन का फ़ोन आया तो बोली कि पापा को एडमिट किया है तो मैं बोली कि तू झूठ बोल रही है तुझे मालूम नहीं कल टेररिस्ट आए थे हमारे मुंबई में उसके लिए कुछ हो गया होगा तो मैंने फ़ोन रखा तो पापा के चाचा वगैरह सब आ गए मतलब मेरे चाचा वगैरह तो उन्होंने बोला कि पापा सीरियस है बहुत पापा को गोली लगी है तो मतलब थोड़ी थोड़ी देर के बाद उन्होंने बताया कि पापा भी नहीं रहे The Mumbai siege continued for the next three days, and Omle's sacrifice got lost in the continuing attack. But for his daughter, getting her father his due credit then became the most important thing for her. Tukaram Omle was awarded the Ashoka Chakra, the highest award for courageous action and self-sacrifice. दे कोई भी लोग बोलते थे ना कि आपको चार में से एक बेटा चाहिए होता तो बोलते थे कि नहीं मेरी बेटी अच्छे मेरी बेटी या बेटे जैसी है हमेशा हमारे रक्षाबंधन के दिन हमको भाई नहीं है तो हमको कोई मतलब फील नहीं करे इसलिए पापा को हम राखी बनता थे वो बोलते थे कि मुझे राखी बनता हो ऐसे हम तो हम हमने कहा कि कभी ना कभी सबको एक ना एक दिन ऊपर जाना है तो पापा मिलेंगे तो पापा क्या बोलेंगे कि मेरे लिए तुमने क्या किया तब उनको आंसर देना होगा ना तो इसलिए कहा कि अब मैं पापा के लिए लड़ूंगी मतलब जो पापा ने जो पापा ने किया है काम उसके लिए लोगों के सामने लाऊंगी कि मेरे पापा ने ये किया है एस आई टू कराम ओमले इज नो मोर एंड इफ इट वॉज नॉट फॉर हिम द मुंबई पुलिस कुड नॉट हैव कैप्चर द सोल टेररिस्ट अलाइव The only source of first hand information about the perpetrators behind the heinous attacks something that Mumbai and India will not forget easily Ya aaj bhi hamare ghar mein jo Diwali ka festival nahi ban raha hai to hamare Mumbai ke log ghar pe aakar unhone jo unke ghar mein mithai wagaira la kar di thi matlab hum jisse pehchante bhi nahi wo log hamare ghar pe aake gaye to अच्छा लगा कि देश के नागरिक को हमारे लिए मतलब जान हम हमको मतलब पहचानते मतलब हमको ऐसा से उनको ऐसा से कि उन्होंने देश के लिए इतना किया तो हमारा भी कुछ फर्ज है हम भी कुछ कर सकते तो करेंगे respect to you sir mm -hmm. um yeah um it takes a special kind of cowardice to shoot unarmed people uh, but yeah the uh i didn't know this oh, i'm sure it was, how many gunmen were there there was 12 or something like 14 that. 14 gunmen i didn't because obviously there's a the one that i yeah i don't i don't i thought there was just a hotel I did too. I didn't realize, I didn't realize there was multiple was a, attacks, a, a, a coordinated, right, multi-city attack. Right. Um, man, that's. Uh, And yes, this is the first we're hearing of these stories. So sorry about that. Um, <laughs> better late than never. Um, I feel like it's something I should have known, of course, of um, already. Yeah. Because uh, it sounds like a. Terror scale on like the scale of it was like a global nine eleven event. Yep. Um, but sadly, because it was limited collateral damage for American interests, we didn't get it here in American media the way we would um, other things. And what year was it? Did they say eight two thousand eight? Do you remember this at all? In the because obviously you yeah were more, I, re I remember it you were as more news central. 
Yeah, and I, I, was... I, re I remember it only after we saw this, and I remembered it solely as like a blip on the radar of, I hate saying it, but this is the way I remember it based on the way it was presented, another terrorist attack on a foreign country. Just, it was another terrorist attack on a foreign country. Now, obviously when you have a personal nature of something, if I had had connection to India or have been in Mumbai, like when the, when the terrorist attack happened in Paris, yeah. that was one year after Alexis had just been in Paris. Mm -hmm. And we're looking on the news and she's like, I was, I was on those streets. I was in that place. Uh, so that, you, that has an impact that hits a little bit closer to home. But again, a terrorist attack in France gets way more coverage in America than a terrorist attack in Mumbai because it's a Western ally it's comparatively. Many different reasons for yeah, that. Yeah, many different um, reasons for that. But so, uh, um, but so yeah, no, this didn't, this didn't have, nor does it presently have anywhere near the level of attention it ought to on a global scale. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the, let's say his name for me again. Uh, Takaram Omble. You are a hero, sir, and uh, I'm sorry for your family and your loved ones. Yeah. Um, all around you and sorry for obviously the entirety of India yeah uh, to have to go something through something so horrific that these monsters are it did upset me that they said their names that I hate that yeah it, 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 it I, I don't know how I much, don't want I don't know how much of it is a thing in other countries but in America we're kind of getting to the point where we don't say Obviously, since it's happening so much, like school shootings uh -huh. and any different kind of terrorists, they don't I'm, basically say the name. Yeah, I'm happy that this most recent shooting in Santa Clarita, I do not know the shooter's name. Yeah. Don't want to. Yeah, you, you don't want them to get that kind of... No, because copycats then do those kinds of things because people wind up talking more about the perpetrator than they do the victims. Yeah. Um, so I, I don't know how big that is in India, and, but obviously America's going through something right now, so it's... <laughs> Yeah, it's a, a little different, but that's um, remembering all the victims today uh, yeah. and all the, the loved ones who lost victims on that day today. Uh, yeah. Solemn, uh, we love you and uh, we're thinking about you today. And this kind of goes without saying in, in comments, please think and make this about love and uh, comfort and empathy and not political divisiveness. That's not what this is about. This is about honoring the fallen and giving respect to them and extending compassion to the people who were personally impacted this by this. Absolutely. So, thank you.